Hello everyone. This channel provides the latest information on the Three Gorges Dam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel. Everyone loves the Three Gorges Dam. As of 7 a.m. local time in China on August 28, the water level of the Three Gorges Dam was 153.23 meters, a drop of more than 1 meter compared to the water level on the 20th of this month. Looking at this dam from the upstream side, the water level seems to be around the line indicated. As of this morning, the flow rate at the upstream observation station was 11,200 cubic meters per second, and the inflow to the Three Gorges Dam was 12,800 cubic meters per second. Therefore, by subtracting, the total value from the dam area and tributaries was 1,600 cubic meters per second, compared to a week ago, the inflow to both the upstream observation station and the Three Gorges Dam has decreased significantly. As of 9 a.m., the total discharge from the Three Gorges Dam was 14,100 cubic meters per second. The maximum hydroelectric discharge capacity of the dam is 31,000 cubic meters per second, so the Three Gorges Dam is estimated to be at 46% capacity, with 15 hydroelectric turbines in operation. As the inflow to the dam is decreasing, they are further reducing the discharge. Nishi Yang Channel. Let's check the information on the Three Gorges Dam released by the Hunan Provincial Hydrological Bureau of China. The discharge volume shown in black has increased the upper limit while keeping the lower limit unchanged since the 24th of this month. The amount is about half of what it was a month ago. The inflow volume shown in the green line is also decreasing. And since the discharge volume has exceeded the limit recently, the water level of the dam is gradually decreasing. China is experiencing a heat wave, and it would be necessary to increase the amount of electricity generated. However, there has been almost no rain in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, which is gradually starting to have a negative impact on people's daily lives. China has experienced large-scale flooding, water shortages, and droughts due to extreme heat, and many people may be wondering what is going on. So, let's summarize the recent situation. First of all, in the Yangtze River Basin where the Three Gorges Dam is located, there has been little rain in both the upper, middle and lower reaches since the beginning of August. The lower reaches in particular have been plagued by high temperatures, which has led to an increase in demand for air conditioners and a tight supply of electricity. The high temperatures continued into July, causing a power shortage, so the news was circulating that more coal was imported from overseas and burned in large quantities to make up for the electricity shortage. The Three Gorges Dam and its upstream are also experiencing extreme heat and water shortages, so the water level of the dam is not accumulating, but is steadily dropping. In Sichuan province, where the temperature rises every year, people are flocking to nearby supermarkets in search of coolness. Some of them are reportedly lying down inside the stores, creating a terrible situation in terms of hygiene and morals. However, the situation is completely different in the north. Recently, record rains in Liaoning province caused rivers to overflow, forcing many people to evacuate. The Yalu River on the border between North Korea and China has also flooded, so much so that Kim Jong-un, the North Korean leader, visited the area to inspect the situation. In addition, heavy rain is expected to fall in the Beijing area in the future, so there is a possibility of further damage. In southern China, rain clouds have spread along the coast over the past few days, and some areas have been experiencing heavy rain. China is a vast country stretching from north to south and then to the west, and there are many different weather conditions and patterns of disaster occurrence, so it is difficult to make a general statement. I think it is true that there is always an impression that disasters are occurring somewhere. But to be honest, I think there are too many floods for that. They may think that if they say it is a once in a century heavy rain, it will be like an excuse to not blame the Communist Party. By the way, do you know that there are cracks in the embankment of the Three Gorges Dam? The dam was completed in 2009 but has already cracked in several places. Looking at the satellite imagery, there are three places. The first is at the crest of the dam body. As you can see, the traces of repairing the cracks are clearly visible. 
Above the dam are multiple cranes that move left and right. It is about 30 meters high and weighs a lot, so the dam body becomes more stressed as it ages. Then there is shiprock. This is an elevator for raising and lowering relatively small ships. Downstream of this, a large crack was previously identified. It appears to have been repaired now. In addition, the water storage side of this shiplock also has cracks. This is the part of the entrance to the ship. In the photo it doesn't look that big, but in another photo you can see how long the crack is. In fact, cracks have been confirmed not only in the visible part but also under the water. Recently, on YouTube, there was a video taken from a sightseeing boat going down a river. You can clearly see the cracks in the video. In other words, it is still there without being repaired. Let's look at the 12-hour performance of Windy. This is the situation up until 8 p.m. yesterday. You can see that the rain clouds around the coastal Shandong Peninsula are moving south, passing through Shanghai, and then moving further south. There must be quite a bit of rain in the downstream areas of the Yangtze River. Looking at this, you can see how slowly the typhoon is moving around Japan. The Three Gorges Dam has three important roles. Flood control, power generation, and ship navigation. On the other hand, there are many issues to be solved, such as sedimentation caused by sand accumulating in reservoirs, destruction of the ecosystem and other environments, widespread climate change, cracks in concrete, and the ever-increasing garbage problem. They choose the optimal water level from the viewpoint of hydroelectric power generation, ship operation, etc., and continue to say that it is safe and secure, is that correct? In particular, I have doubts about the recent water level situation. As far as our channel has researched, the area covered by the Three Gorges Dam is the area indicated by the red line. Next, let's look at the future forecast. As usual, there will be no heavy rain around the Three Gorges Dam or upstream. Today's weather at the Three Gorges Dam is forecast to be a maximum temperature of 32 degrees, a minimum temperature of 22 degrees, and light rain. At one point, the maximum temperature rose to around 40 degrees, so perhaps the temperature is starting to drop as we approach autumn. At the moment, there are few typhoons heading toward the mainland. Did you know that China is planning to construct a large-scale hydroelectric power plant in Tibet, which is attracting a lot of attention? They are trying to build a huge hydroelectric power plant on the Yarlung Champo River in China's Tibetan Autonomous Region. This river is an important water resource for India and Bangladesh and is also used for irrigation. There, they are considering building a structure larger than the Three Gorges Dam, and the name of that dam is Medog Dam. The scale of hydroelectric power generated by the Medog Dam is 60 million kilowatts at the planning stage, which is slightly less than three times that of the Three Gorges Dam. First, let's check the positional relationship. The Yarlung Champo River flows east through the north side of Nepal and changes its name to the Brahmaputra River once it crosses the border. It then joins the Ganges and flows into the Bay of Bengal. By the way, the location of the border dispute between India and China that has been occurring for the past four years is around the dotted red circle. The plan also includes the dangerous concept of diverting water from the dammed Yarlung Champo River and channeling it into the Yellow River, which, if constructed, would cause the downstream countries to scream. However, since the region is located further north than Nepal, it would be quite costly to secure materials and labor for the construction site. The dam will eventually be built, as plans were officially announced three years ago. I would like to pay attention to whether China intends to close the faucet upstream. Construction of China's Three Gorges Dam began in 1993 and was completed in 2009, making it one of the largest dams in the world. The dam was built primarily to control floods, provide electricity, and improve water transportation. The Three Gorges Dam power plant, the world's largest, is located here, with a power generation capacity of 22.5 million kilowatts, and has contributed greatly to China's energy supply. On the other hand, there are many problems associated with dams, and during the flood season, people often talk about the possibility of dams collapsing, so I think many people are aware of this.
This is a video that summarizes detailed information about the Three Gorges Dam, and is a popular video that has been viewed over 150,000 times so far, so please enjoy it. The URL is listed in the summary section. The rainy season has finally arrived, and the amount of rain will gradually increase in China. In 2019 and 2020, heavy rains and flooding continued, leading to speculation that the dam might collapse. On the contrary, from 2022 to 2023, there was a water shortage, and water was extremely scarce. Chinese meteorological authorities have announced early warnings of the possibility of extreme weather and high temperatures. This year, as of April, large-scale flooding has occurred in southern China. We will continue to provide you with the latest information, so please subscribe to our channel.